One of the survivors of that Las Vegas shooting, America's deadliest mass shooting, joins us now. Marissa Morano uh, is with us. Marissa, thank you so much for taking the time. I, I assume you've been following this case closely. The Supreme Court decision means that bump stocks will once again be available in America. I'm wondering, um, I can pretty much guess, but I'm wondering what your reaction to that was. I'm sad. I'm sad that um, something that is common sense, gun sense legislation um, is being overturned. I'm sad that something that is bipartisan um, is not being considered. I'm sad that we are allowing this accessory to an AR-15 to become more accessible to, to many and allow more shootings to happen. Um, that are more traumatic and more detrimental than, than the average shooting on just an AR-15, if that's even possible. Demolition began today of the high school building that was the site of the shooting in Parkland, Florida, six years ago now. At that time, uh, President Trump vowed to act to prevent future tragedy. I, I know that you've been pretty vocal about this. In your eyes, uh, did the former president do anything to make that happen? He did. He He's the one who put into place this ban on bump stocks. I think that's what, to me, is, is such a, a, a pivotal point in this whole discussion is that this is not, you know, the liberals and the, you know, extreme right. You know, this is, this is a bipartisan agreement that this is common sense um, to keep our community safe and for the Supreme Court to make a decision otherwise um, baffles me, it's ludicrous. I'm curious, what specific gun reform changes would you want to see? If you had a you know, wish list, you could do this. What would it be? Um, I would love to have background checks, right? Something very simple. I would love to um, not put um, you know, guns and, and arms in, in the hands of people that are under the age of 21. Um, I think felons should obviously, you know, go through more restrictions. There should be no loopholes in that. Um, the ghost gun loophole needs to be stopped. It, it's all about common sense, gun sense legislation. And I, I think that's the most important and frustrating part for the work that, um, that I do and that I, with the communities that I work with, with every town for gun safety and moms demand action, that it's, we're not pushing for anything except gun sense legislation things to make our communities, our children safe, because people are dying by the dozen. After today's ruling, President Biden called on Congress to ban bump stocks as well as assault weapons, uh, writing, and we'll quote this, send me a bill and I will sign it immediately, is what he said. I'm wondering, do you think something like that is even possible right now, particularly in an election year? I'm going to hope so. Um, I don't know. Anything is possible, I think, with this in, within this election year. So I don't know. I can't speak on behalf of that. What I do know is that I have to have faith in our Congress. I have to have faith in our president. I have to have faith um, in our nation that change can happen and we can be safe um, despite some decisions that would like to make us unsafe. All right, Marissa, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us. Your perspective is, of course, incredibly important and poignant today. We appreciate the conversation. Thank you so much. I appreciate you.